You want me to give your parents back their house? No, sir. I came to tell you they earned it. The original loan was $3,500. Interest starting at 10%, spread over six months. That's $6,200. They stole from me. With all monies returned. And seeing as how you chose not to kill them, I'm assuming you felt their punishment should be monetary, a fine. I took their house. You said the house was yours, but they still have the deed. They still pay the taxes. Did they send you? A girl for the sympathy factor? Is that what you see? A girl? You know a lot of girls who study European art and speak two languages? I came on my own to right or wrong. We don't do that here. You're in a war and you've lost 27 men. Something like that. No, exactly that. 27 men shot, stabbed, strangled. 27 men requiring the services of a licensed mortician. I've got the invoice here. The total cost comes out to $8,700. That's not how it works. 8,700 in agreed upon services. Plus this. Gold ring. Pawn shop give you full 500. Which would leave you at? Who the hell cares? I already told you, that's not how it works. No. You haven't seen the part that makes it priceless yet. The part that's going to make you give me what I want. There's a nurse who lives across the street from me. She had the ring. So now you're selling me a stolen ring. She had a lot of other things, this nurse. Took them from her patients. Kept them in a closet next to their obituaries. And medicine she gave them to help them pass on. This nurse? Cops arrested her last night. She poisons people. See? And takes their things. A keepsake. Like this ring. And I started thinking. Whose ring is it? So. I went to the library. And looked through the obits. I want you to give my folks their house back and their business. All debts forgave. And just what the hell do you think you got that's going to make me do that? I'm going to help you win your war. You do that, you can have anything you want. Swear it. Swear. Good. 